We should do a full cinematic oak shoot and get them to sponsor us. Hello, how are you? This is the rear bar. You might have to censor this. Oh, Jesus! Can't wait to have this thing wrapped up and protected. Remember, boys, always wrap it. Now, if there's one thing that sets aside a full drive from the rest, it is custom bar work. Now, don't get me wrong, off the shelf bar work is fine if you're a little bit boring, but we aren't about that here on this channel, no. Not at all. So we've come back to Kinsella's Customs. Well, actually, we just never left Kinsella's Customs from the last episode, but that's fine. In this episode, we are gonna be wrapping the new Naughty 80 in custom bar work. I'm talking a custom front bar, custom rear bar, custom swing arm, sliders, front and rear scrubbies, it's absolutely phenomenal. We are going to address one elephant in the room quickly, and that is that this car is currently sitting at like 10 inches of lift height. We may or may not have got the spring rates wrong for the coilovers, so don't worry, we'll be dropping this down, but for now, you're going to have to deal with it. Let's get into it. Here behind us putting together the sliders for the new build and this is 40 nb medium tube super strong um we're not going too crazy with the sliders with massive kickers or anything like that i'm not a massive fan of that just a nice big solid step heaps of protection that's going to help push any obstacles away from the bodywork and then um we're going to mount these up at quite a nice angle as well so they're super aggressive and then these are going to be going into some front and rear scrubbies to the Consella customs rear bar and the custom bull bar that we're making here as well so Wrapped 360 bar work. It's gonna look phenomenal. Lewis is a wizard. Can't wait to get this all welded up and on the car. It's gonna look sick. Excessively long swing arm because I'm a head. That right there is the Kinsella Customs rear bar for the 80 series. Now, the bottom half of this is their off the shelf bar. Anyone can go and order this. Now, what we're tweaking is the swing arm and basically the custom toe hitch that we're going to be putting into the bar through the chassis rail. This is all about that sort of symmetrical, really tough, I guess, Baja style inspired rear end. So that's what we're trying to emulate. You look like an alien. What are you doing back here, other Matthew? Hello. Tow bar for you. Because some head decided a normal tow bar wasn't going to work. Yep, that's it. And then of course they're going to come out into the rear bar there. Oh, that's very nice. Sneaky little high Sneaky clearance. Dog. Yep, amazing. Because I guess. We save immediately two inches yeah, of clearance least, off the yeah. back. Originally it hangs down. it's around probably actually even here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, gross. Mm -hmm. So mega high clearance. I had one of these on my old wagon before we chopped it and I loved having the hitch in there. Copy. And the other beautiful thing is we don't necessarily have to run a recovery point in there because the Kinsella bars, these built-in recovery points aren't just for looks, they're actually the plates that bolt it to the chassis. So you're going to have, you know, three or four high tensile bolts to hold yeah. the rear bar on and then also to recover off, so. Should be plenty. Very exciting. Looks good, mate. And then you got your little pin, which is like sneakily in behind there. Yeah, the little hole dog. Yeah. Yeah, mad. So you'll be able to just reach in and go, boost. Very good. Custom front bars. Obviously, 
this is where you say words and yeah. Alrighty, well we're about to dive into the front bar. Now, whilst there is a stack, and I'm talking thousands of different sorts of bull bars available on the market, when you have a vision in your head and you can't find anything that quite fits it and ticks the box, you end up going custom. So that's why we've come back to Kinsella's Customs to get Matt to do it, and I'm very, very keen. Now, about three or four years ago, you probably remember I had a tube bar on the front of the 80 when it was a wagon. Way before I chopped it, way before it got stolen, RIP. That bar, I stole the idea from Mikey, my friend. Turns out, the person that built Mikey's bar is that man right there. So, it's gone full circle. I copied a bar that Matt built originally. I got a different fabricator to build it back in the day. And now we've come back to the originator of that design to redo it. But we are gonna tweak it a little bit. We're gonna add some plate down the bottom. We're gonna add some hoops for that front end protection. Obviously a bull bar is good for a couple of reasons. Winches, uh, it's like mountain winches, aerial spotlights, front end protection. They're gonna look great. But most importantly, we also want to keep the approach angle as phenomenal as we can. We've pushed the diff forward about one or two inches in this car, so the tyres are right up the front now. We've obviously already um, clearanced this front sort of apron panel as well for the tyres, so the bull bar is going to need to basically hide that work. We're going to wrap the tubes around under the guard to protect it all, make it look super staunch. The hoops obviously are going to help against uh, animal strikes and that kind of thing. And I actually haven't had a hoop bar on the Naughty 40, um, so it's actually going to be a little bit of a different look, which I'm pretty keen to give a go. So it should be pretty good. We've also got a brand new rumble winch to chuck in this. Uh, we've done away with the big twin motor dog. They are bringing out a new twin motor one, which we might try in the future, but for this build, we've got a new EWB 12000, which is the same one that Matt runs on his race buggy, uh, which is super cool. It's a really fastly geared winch with a um, brand new free spool on it, so very keen to give that a go. The front end of this car is going to look absolutely sick. Having this custom front bar is really important because obviously all the bar work's being made by the same person, so it's got that really nice cohesive look. Then we're going to link that into some custom front scrubbies into the custom sliders, into the custom rear scrubbies, into the rear bar. That's gonna look absolutely sick. Can't wait to have this thing wrapped up and protected. Remember boys, always wrap it. Another fantastic thing about Consellers Customs is they've got all the in-house fabricators you could want, plus a plasma cutter. So we can just cut it all up, bend the tube, play around with different designs and styles and that sort of thing, all in-house and you don't lose any downtime. So, Go wrangle Matt off the welder and see what we can come up with. If you ask it, don't gotta sell a most Alice Rollers broken whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you want it cause the yams enormous. What's in since she isn't gorgeous? Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest. Do not know we're knocking on the door. It's came in, I came in, I came in, did it like the Porsche's coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB who we run it. Oh, wow, fancy seeing you here. Just checking out these slidey dogs. Now, there's a whole bunch of different options you can do when you're building bar work, especially sliders. We've gone with 40 MB, super strong, quite compact tube, um, and quite a basic design for a couple of reasons. Now, I'm not a massive fan of the big sort of rear kickers and that sort of thing. I think they can actually end up getting you stuck on a couple of obstacles you probably didn't want. Um, I also just think they're a little bit funny looking. But look, each to their own. If that's what you've got, then you do you. You can also do them with two, three, four mounts. Whatever you, whatever your heart desires. Um, Matt and the team here do three mounts. They weld a plate onto the chassis and then bolt the sliders to that plate. So removable, but super, super strong. Um, and what this sort of design has enabled us to do is then going to be able to put some, I guess, little joiners here for the front and rear scrubbies. And then we can link that up to the rear bar. We're also sort of angling them up nice and staunch, which is really cool. It's going to look really good, but you're still going to be able to use this as a step um, if you're a short ass, unlike myself. Now, follow me. I'm going to take you to the rear bar. Hey! Hello. How are you? This is the rear bar back here. We might have to censor this. Oh, Jesus! The bloody hoist get out of there. Um, this is the rear bar. It's a very important to protect the rear end, which I just forgot about, so it's bloody put him away. Uh, this is an off the shelf Kinsella's bar for an 80 series that we are tweaking and modifying. Obviously, this is going to give us maximum protection for the back. It's going to allow us to mount the spare up here. We've got a custom swing arm we're making. We've integrated the tow bar into the chassis through the uh, rear bar, which is super cool too. Added in some strength and that kind of thing. We're saving about 75 mil of ground clearance at the back here, which is really important too. And it's gonna look absolutely sick back here. Loving it. Yeah, Marley, Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she's killing me. 
preoccupied by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Brown on the rise, yeah, he kinda nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear, my eyes hit record. Praise up to God, I ain't chasing no bitch. Swinging the mist, I be hitting these licks. I get the orders, don't get it distorted. Disconnected, I've been cordless, I've been cordial, I've been exploring. I got a whole lot, but somehow I want more of it. Yeah, I want to tour and put on for the soil. Wow. Progress has been quick this morning, and all it took was Matt having booked an F1 weekend in Melbourne to actually get him up off his ass. So that's exciting. It's Wednesday, and he's leaving in like 40 minutes, so that's good. But anyway, the bar's coming along nicely. Mega clearance dog, big upswept wings. You can see getting that apron out of the front, that radiator support has meant mega approach angles for the tyres. You probably recognise the lower half of this bar from some bloke's GU that Mikey then copied, that I then copied off Mikey, then a thousand people have copied off Matt Kinsella since the dawn of time. So we're bringing it back. I loved it, it was my favourite looking bar. Um, but we're doing some different sort of things to what we did last time. We're going to plate this sort of section in and we're also adding hoops. So we've got the big centre dog and then we're basically just mucking around with these here. So a lot of people like to do big, disgusting, ghetto boy angry eyes, which I think looks if you have an 80 series because they're literally a straight line parallel with the floor. So we weren't going to do that. And then the options were lower down, which I think is a silly boy idea because then you're losing the top half of your headlights. So we're going to basically split the difference and have it sort of like that, level with the top, pretty similarly level to the top of the center hoop. And we're also going to wrap this around the corner light to give a bit of protection to that front corner. This piece was just sort of a, a play around piece. We're going to wrap this radius a little bit tighter to the lamp um, so that it's sort of a bit more in line with the bar. But that's the plan at the moment. I'm excited to see this come together. And just it smashes that oak off the top of the laser. We should do a full cinematic oak shoot and get them to sponsor us. We're like, hi, we're sponsored by Oak. I'm lactose intolerant, but look. Are you? <laughs> Here's me not drinking. Yeah, that's. Hello. to do on the wagon ages ago before I chopped it and we're finally getting the opportunity is rear scrubbies. Now, the back of a wagon is extremely susceptible to getting its ass punted in if you're off-road. It's happened to my last car, which is why I chopped it. I'm pretty sure it happens to any wagon that gets wheeled, so it's very important to protect it. Now, we've gone ahead and gone with a rear scrubby setup. You don't often see them on 80 series, I don't think, because of how the flares are compared to something like a GU. On an 80 series, the flares wrap right down past the door, which makes it quite tricky to run a scrubby. You do actually end up having to trim a fair bit off that flare, whereas on a GU, the flare on the door is actually separate to the flare on the body, so it means you're able to run a rear scrubby a lot easier. <laughs> but anyway, we're doing it anyway, because I think it's worthwhile. Um, we're using the same size pipe uh, for the rear scrubbies as we have the front scrubbies, the same size pipe for the sliders and the ball bar. So it's going to be really nice, cohesive, it's going to flow really well, it's going to look absolutely sick once it's all powder coated and looking Mickey Mouse. One thing that Matt and the Kinsella's team here use, which is super, super sick to see, is this guy right here. And you probably can't even see it on camera because it's that slick, and that's a roll bar or a roll cage joiner. Basically a super strong join using two Allen key bolts and basically means that that joint there, you can disconnect the sliders, you can pull the rear bar off. It's all in separate pieces, which means if you need to touch up the paint, if you need to do body work, or if they just need to come off for any reason, you don't have to basically cut them and re-weld or rejoin them or anything weird like that. Plus, having these back here means you're protecting all the panel work, you're protecting your factory flares, because we all know factory 80 series flares, very hard to get these days. I think this will buff out. Now, in order to build custom front scrub bars, you sort of need to know where the flare's gonna sit, where the guard starts and finishes, and we don't currently know that. So, what Kev's doing now is basically we're gonna put the passenger side up all the way in the guard, jam that trap in as far as it'll go until it's fully on the hydro bumps, mark what needs to be cut, trim that out of the way, and then we're gonna start playing around with how to remount the flare and trim those as well. And then, once we've got all that dialed in, we're gonna know exactly where we can and can't run the scrub bar so that it doesn't look too silly. I have a feeling we're gonna to have to cut a fair bit. We've pushed that tire an inch or two further forward than factory. We've got the bull bar on there now, so there are a few things in our way that are probably gonna need trimming. Just do it. Everything. <laughs> Brr.
a lot of boring math later. Okay, we're back here at Kinsella's. This is an episode I don't even really know what the bloody hell's going on. This is sort of just the finishing touches, I guess, of the build. The AD is somewhere in there looking all gorgeous. Now, things that need doing. Finishing the sway bar, finishing the rear diff bracing. Uh, we've got to pull the cab off the chassis and go get it blasted and painted. We've got to send the diffs and all the bar work to get powder coated. We've got to finish fabricating. We've got to put crush tubes in chassis. We have got so much to do and that is what this is all about. So, we're back here at Kinsella's. We're finishing the guard chop. We're finishing the flares. We're refitting the flares. We're finishing the brush bars. There's a lot to do. Easily got in the way of a couple of our plans, so we're going to try and sort it all out now. There's a lot to do, guys, so wish me luck. Anyway, while we're here, let's have a look at one of my favourite things. I don't know when this episode's going to be coming out, so you might have already seen the Sus with Sam, or you might be about to see the Sus with Sam on Matt's class winning Can Am X3. He's currently doing a stack of work to it, so it looks a bit jank, but this thing basically wins every competition it enters. Looks so sick. Ah. Put some host clampy boys through them. Oh. These yeah. are just to finish off those sway bar brackets that Doug put on. Doug put on. Yep. He, no. just wasn't, he didn't want to not make them sort of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is it your birthday today, Matt? It is, mate. No, look what I'm happy doing. birthday, mate. This is my birthday present to you. Mounting my reservoirs. Yeah. Thanks, bro. There's Kelsey. She always comes when we start filming. Always come just us. Follow her at Kelkinator <laughs> on Instagram. She'll add everyone. Alright, let's cut this shit. <laughs> Matt's very pleased by this. This is a stupid idea. <laughs> For a stupid man. Now, for the record, internet maps mutilating, hard to find, factory, genuine Toyota 82 slayers. So don't If you need stuff ruined, call Sam. Come to come to Kinsella. It still hits. <laughs> no, that's it. Right. You have to deal with that. Good luck, mm. HD Automotive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, 80 series behind now has flares on. That was a bit of a mission. We had to basically Cut a heap of guard, cut a heap of flare, relocate the holes, drill the holes, we all know how much we love drilling holes, and move them all up a little bit. And then, uh, well, they're sort of bolted on in a new high clearance location. Now, Matt, on his birthday, is on the floor under the car figuring out the sway bar link mounts on the diff end and the bar end. Um, basically, seat and suspension, or the bars that are available from Kinsella's here, um, where we got to at Seaton's was we bent them all up and we basically now have to just replicate the pan hard bracket on the diff so it looks really nice. So that's what we're basically working on now. The flares have actually turned out pretty damn nice. Right now is probably where you were expecting to see some gorgeous, cinematic, beautifully, professionally shot reveal video of the finished bar work. But you know what guys, sometimes you bloody squeeze a few lemons and some goes in your eyes and it's just a little bit painful and that's sort of what this process has been. We've tried tirelessly week on week to get this build done and filmed and edited and uploaded for you guys, but unfortunately I'm not that good at chess and this whole thing is a bit like chess. So what you're going to have to wait and see is a finished episode coming out in a couple of weeks which will be sort of the completion of phase one of the build. It'll be the finished suspension, the powder coated components, the finished bar work, the clearancing, the flares, the wheels, the tires, and all that sort of juicy, yummy goodness that you've come to know and expect from this build. But what I will tell you about is that right now we're on the set of next week's episode, which is a very exciting one, which might include the roast of some people's cars, but we're not gonna give too much away. So, make sure you subscribe, make sure you're following us on all socials, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and we'll see you next week.